my name is Karen and I am here to lead you through day 18 of the MAT Fundamental Pilates Workout. Find a place where you can lay down and lay down on your back. Beginning with imprinting, take a deep breath in, filling up your lungs, and exhale, pressing your back into the mat. Again, inhale, exhale, let your back get heavy into the mat. Inhale, blow out all of that air, pressing each individual vertebra into the mat. Again, inhale. And exhale, letting your back melt like butter. One more big breath in. And exhale, letting your back relax heavy into the mat. Moving on to breathing, take a deep breath in, filling up those lungs. And exhale and cinch up your waist. Again, inhale. Exhale and feel your waist get smaller. Again, inhale, exhale, move in toward the center line. Again, inhale, and exhale, cinch up your waist. One more big breath in, and exhale, and skinny up that waist. Next is iso abs. Take your hands and make a triangle with your thumbs and index fingers and place on your lower abdomen with your thumbs at your belly button, heels of your hands towards your hip bones and your fingertips falling towards your pubic bone. Make sure that triangle is level and not tilted one way or another. And exhale and sink that triangle toward the floor. Inhale and try to keep it there. Exhale, try to lower that triangle a little more. Inhale and keep it there. Three more. Exhale, sink that triangle a little more. Inhale and keep it there. Exhale, use your abs to draw the triangle toward the floor. Inhale and keep it there. One more. Exhale, scoop deeply and draw that triangle toward the floor. Inhale and keep it there. Moving on to clockwork, arms can go down by your side. Imagine you have a marble on the middle of your pelvis. As you exhale, roll that marble toward your heart. And then inhale and roll the marble away from your heart. Exhale, tilt your pelvis backward. Inhale and tilt it forward. Exhale, feel your back get lower into the mat. Inhale, feel your tailbone get lower toward the mat. One more, exhale, rolling that marble toward your heart. Inhale and roll the marble away from your heart. Settle back into neutral pelvis, abdominals are pulling in and up. Take your arms up toward the ceiling, plug your shoulder blades into the mat for ribcage arms. Make sure you keep your ribcage glued to the mat as you exhale and reach your arms toward the wall behind you. Inhale and reach up toward the ceiling. Exhale, reach long like you're gonna to touch the wall behind you. Inhale, reach like you're going to touch the ceiling. Two more. Exhale, long over toward the wall behind you. And then inhale up. Exhale, reach behind you. And inhale up toward the ceiling. Go ahead and lower those arms by your side. Head nods. Keep the back of your head in contact with the mat as you exhale and lengthen the back of the neck. Inhale, lift the chin toward the ceiling. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift. One more time. Exhale, lengthen the back of that neck. Inhale, lift. Adding the neck curls, lengthen through the back of the neck and lift the head and shoulders up, folding in half of your ribcage, and then lower down bone by bone by bone. Again, exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, stretch the spine as you roll down piece by piece. Again, exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale and roll down one piece at a time. Last one, exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, lengthen long as you lower down. Flip over onto your tummy, and I glide again, just like I did yesterday. Knee folds. 
pelvis is neutral, abdominals scooping deeply. Exhale as you pull your right knee in towards your chest. Inhale, resist to lower. Exhale, scoop deeply and pull the left knee in towards your chest. Inhale and lower. Exhale, draw the abs in and up as you pull your right knee in. Inhale and lower. Exhale and scoop to pull the left knee in. Inhale and lower. Exhale, right knee comes in. Inhale, resist to lower. Exhale, left knee comes in. Inhale, resist as you lower. One more on each side. And lower. Deepen the abs as you pull the left knee in. Inhale and lower. Now we're going to flip over onto our bellies for flight. Abdominals are scooping deeply as if you're going to lift your abdominals right up off the mat. Arms are long by your side. Let's go ahead and flip those palms face down toward the floor again. This helps open up the chest. Slide your shoulder blades into your back pockets. And your forehead can either rest lightly on the floor or you can hover it up off the floor. Inhale as you lengthen through the spine. Reach the fingertips toward the toes and lift. Exhale as you lengthen to lower down. Again, inhale, reach the fingers and lift. Exhale, stretch to lower down. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, stretch that spine nice and long. One more time, inhale, lift long. Exhale and lower back down. Go ahead and sit up for seated tracking. Sitting up as tall as you can with your body stacked right over your sit bones. Legs are out straight, feet begin flexed. Uh, make sure you're lining up, keep the middle of your foot with the middle of the leg, and we're going to try to make, maintain that alignment. We're working on the alignment of that lower leg in this exercise. So reach through the balls of the feet, lengthen through the toes, pull the toes back, and press through the heels. Again, through the balls of the feet, lengthen the toes, balls of the feet come back, and push through the heels. Two more, keeping alignment of that foot with the leg, Last one, and pull the toes back, push through the heels. Now roll back down onto your spine, knees and feet together for our knee spreads. Make sure you're in neutral pelvis and scoop those abdominals deeply. Inhale as you open your knees to the side. Exhale and scoop to lift them up. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, deepen the abs to lift. Inhale, open. Exhale, scoop and pull the abs in and up. One more inhale, open wide. Exhale, lift back up. Knee sways. Inhale, reach the knees over to the right. Left shoulder stays in contact with the floor. Deepen the abs as you pull the knees up toward the ceiling. Knees go over to the left, keeping the right shoulder on the floor. Scoop deeply to pull the knees back up. Over to the right again, lengthening long through that top knee. Abs, pull the knees up toward the ceiling, over to the left, reaching long through your body. And scoop to pull back up, two more each way. And abs, pull the knees back up, again over to the left. And use those abs to lift back up, one more each way. Scoop and pull back up, and over to the left. And deepen the abs to come back up. Next up is goalpost arms. Go ahead and flip over onto your tummy. Again, tummies are lifted as if you're going to lift them up off the floor. Shoulder blades sliding in toward your back pockets. Arms straight out from the shoulder, bent to the 90 degree angle of the elbow. And forehead can either be resting on the mat or hovering slightly off the mat. And press the elbows into the mat to lift the hands and then lower the hands. Press the elbows to lift the hands and lower back down. Two more. Press the elbows to lift the hands and lower. One more. Press the elbow to lift the hands and lower back down. Flip back over onto your tummy for our leg slides. Knees are bent, feet uh, flat on the floor with the legs open about hip bone distance apart. Press your right heel into the mat as you lengthen long, reaching for the wall in front of you. Pull in the abs to pull the knee back in. Same leg, press down and reach out. Deepen the abs to pull it back in. Two more, press down and reach long. Scoop and pull back in. 
One more, press out, lengthen, head to heel, and pull back in, left knee, press the heel down to reach it long, and abs in and up to come back in, and again, press down and lengthen from head to heel, and pull back in, we have two more, press down and reach long, scoop in and pull back in, one more, press at down and reach out, and pull that leg back in. The hundred, head nod, neck curl, look down your shirt, arms reach long, pull your knees into your chest, and begin to pump. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, filling up the lungs, exhale, and empty the lungs. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, Exhale, scoop the belly deeply. Inhale, try to curl up a little more. Exhale, sink the abs into the mat. We're halfway there. Big breath in. Blow it all out. Inhale, keep pumping those arms. Exhale, try to reach a little further. Inhale, blow it all out. Two more breaths. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last breath in, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Sit all the way up. Seated roll backs. Knees bent, feet flat. Legs open about hip bone distance. Grab behind the thighs. Exhale, tilt the pelvis backward to C curve the upper body. Inhale, stack up tall, growing taller. Again, exhale, roll the marble to the heart to pull into a C-curve. Inhale and stack up even taller. Exhale, round that back. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Keep the length and just pull it into a curve. Inhale and stack back up. We have two more. Exhale, round that spine. Inhale, grow taller. Last one, exhale, round that body, and inhale, and roll back up. Roll all the way down. You can walk down if you need to. Otherwise, challenge yourself. The one leg circle. Bring that right knee directly over the hip, anchor the body into the mat, and take the leg across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. We have two more. Last one. And reverse, out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. Really try to lengthen that leg out of the hip socket. There's also energy pulling that hip down into the mat as well. Last one. And change legs. Take the leg across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Keep the body nice and still, only the leg moves. Abs are working hard, last one. Reverse, take it out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. Keep scooping the abs, lengthen the body, particularly head to tailbone. And last one. And pull both knees in towards your chest for our teeter-totter. Grab behind the thighs, press the thighs into the hands, hands are pressing into the backs of the thighs. Head on that curl, look down your shirt, and rock back and forth for six, five, Four, three, two, one, and then sit all the way up. Add series single leg stretch. Hug your knee in, other leg slides out, and switch legs, sliding like a grasshopper, really hugging that center line. Upper body is in the C curve. You're pressing down into the mat as you switch those legs. One more on each side. And last one, double leg stretch. Pull both knees in, lengthen the arms and legs away, circle around to hug back in. Inhale as you stretch long, exhale, keep the length and scoop deeply. Inhale away, exhale, pull it in. Three more. Big capital C curve with the upper body, lengthening that spine, stretch the spaces between your vertebrae. Last one, and hug back in. Spine stretch forward. Sit up tall. Stack right up. It's important that you sit up tall. So if you can't do that with your legs straight, go ahead and bend them. Nothing wrong with that. I'd rather you be sitting up tall. 
Keep those arms lengthened out in front of you and exhale, peel your spine off an imaginary wall, lengthening through the crown of your head. Inhale, grow taller as you stack up tall against a wall. Again, exhale, round forward. Inhale and grow tall. And exhale, round forward, peeling your spine off the imaginary wall one piece at a time. Inhale, stack it back up one piece at a time. And two more. Exhale, blowing out all of your air. Inhale and fill up those lungs. Last one, rounding forward. And inhale, see how tall you can be. So, arms reach out to the side. Twist to one side, round forward as you exhale, and reach, reach deeper, reach deeper, inhale, roll up, and rotate, exhale, and reach, keep the opposite hip anchored, reach deeper, inhale, roll up, and rotate, exhale, and reach, reach deeper, reach deeper, inhale, roll up, and rotate, exhale, reach, 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 inhale, roll up, and rotate, last one on each side, and roll up, and rotate, See how much you can rotate on this one. And roll up, come back to center, bring the arms and legs together, and roll down onto your back. You can use your hands if you need to. Side kick series, roll onto your side. Line your body up at the back edge of your mat. Arm can, bottom arm can be straight with your hand, head resting on your upper arm, or you can take that hand behind your head to help with the length in the neck. Feet go to the front edge of the mat, top hand fist or flat. Take that top leg, reach it to the corner, keep those hips nice and stacked. No crunched waists up here, we want them nice and long. Starting with front and back. Kick front, front, sweep it back, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Three more, keep that leg reaching long. Keep the body nice and still. Last one, front, front, and back, back. Top leg over, bottom leg, ups and downs. Turn that leg out, turn it out even more to lift. Reach long to lower. Lift it up, keeping the hips stacked. Stacked, reach long to lower. Three more, keep the abs scooping deeply. Body is lengthening from head to toes. Last one, inner thigh lifts in circles. Go ahead and grab that ankle and plant it on the mat. Bottom leg sweeps to the back edge of the mat. Press that knee away from you, stack the hips and scoop the abs. Lift the bottom leg, reach long through the heel and lower. Lift, lengthen head to heel, and lower. Lift, stretch the spine, and lower. Two more. And last one. Circle front, up, back, and down. Front, up, back, and down. Big circles like you're stirring a big pot. Last one. And reverse, up, front, down, and back. Up, front, down and back. Three more. Lengthen that body long from head to heel. And last one. Take the top leg, place it over the bottom leg, and roll onto your belly. Hands stack underneath your forehead. Exhale as you scoop the abdominals as if they're going to come right up off the mat. Inhale, lengthen from head to toes. Exhale, pull those abs in and up. Inhale, stretch the spine. One more. Exhale, deepen those abs more. And inhale, lengthen even more head to toes. Go ahead and roll over onto your other side. Send up it just as you did on the first side. Beginning with front and back. Leg goes front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Reach long through that leg. Hips stay stacked. Upper body is nice and still. Last one. Front, front, and back, back. Ups and downs. Top leg turns out. Lift it up. Reach long to lower. Turn out even more as you lift. Reach longer to lower. Hips stay stacked. Upper body is nice and still. Upper uh, whole body is lengthened. Last one. Inner thigh lifts in circles. Go ahead and grab that ankle and plant it on the floor. Really, it's your foot that's on the floor. Nice long waist, abdominal scooping. Lift, lengthen, and lower. Lift, stretch that body, and lower. Lift, grow longer, and lower. Lift, and deepen the abs, and lower. One more. And circle front, up, back, and down. 
front, up, back, and down. Really big circles. Don't forget the back of that circle. And last one. And reverse. Up, front, down, and back. Up, front, down, and back. Three more. Really lengthening the body. Last one. Teaser one leg. Take the top leg, plant that foot behind the bottom leg. Sit up, bringing the thighs together, and grab behind your thighs. You have one leg extended. Exhale as you round through the spine. Inhale, sit up. Again, just like our seated rollbacks, but now you have one leg off the floor. And sit up, tall switch legs. Exhale, curl that tail underneath you. Inhale, sit up. Tailbone reaches between your legs. Inhale, stack up tall. Exhale, really round that back. Inhale and sit up. Wall series. Find a place where you can stand against a wall. Feet walk out one foot distance from the wall. Heels together, toes apart. Press your entire spine up against the wall as you're really scooping in and up to press that low back into the wall. Arm circles. Arms reach forward and up. Open wide to the side to lower. Keep those shoulder blades plugged into the wall as you circle these arms, especially as you're going forward. That's the hardest one. Two more circles this direction. See how long you can make those arms. Last one. And reverse. Arms go wide to the side to come up, forward to come down. Abs are still deep and lifting in and up. Two more circles. And last one. Alternating arms. Take one arm up toward the ceiling and switch those arms. And switch. And switch. Remember, only the arms are moving. The rest of the body should be nice and still. Two more each side. Grow that spine nice and long. Last one each way. And one more switch, and then just lower that arm. Roll down to the arm circles. Peel the spine off the wall one piece at a time, going into that capital C curve with the upper body, and circle those arms. Reverse the circle. Let the arms hang as you roll up bone by bone by bone. Again, peel that spine off the wall, going into that C curve. Circle the arms. Reverse the circle. Let them hang as you roll up, lengthening the space between the vertebrae as you go against that wall. One more, peel off the wall. Circle the arms. And reverse the circle. Let them hang and roll up, lengthening long through the body. And wall slides. Walk your feet out one more foot distance from the wall. And separate the heels so your feet are about hip bone distance apart. Again, pressing that spine into the wall, abs are pulling in and up, and slide down the wall, reaching your arms forward, press through the heels to slide up. Slide down, press through those heels to come back up. One more on two legs, press to come back up. Bring the feet together for our one leg wall slides, and slide down, Extend one leg, keep the body nice and strong to come back up, bringing the feet together. Slide down again. Other leg goes forward, slide back up. We have one more on each side. Leg goes out, slide all the way up. One more, keep that body nice and strong. And walk the feet back to the baseboard, stand up tall. Step out, feel how tall you are. You should feel a nice, strong length in the body. I hope you had a good workout with me today. I enjoyed it today, too. And I hope that you'll be able to join me again for our next workout. Have a great day.